Hello, hello. Welcome to Sharing Community. Your own channel, your own community. Please like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back. This is Alex for Sharing Community. So, uh this is going to be our uh, next content and the very first one in the realm of technology uh, and it's going to be probably in series uh, so this very first series we are going to be uh, presenting to you uh, three um, I mean I will be presenting to you uh, three of um, you know probably hidden tips and tricks um, that I love so much about um, iPhone and iOS and uh, you know as this channel is focusing uh, mainly but not limited to how people visually impaired uh, live their life and how we do things uh, like in this case for me I'm using technology uh, using uh, devices like phones with the help of assistive technology like in this case screen reader so um, you'll be hearing me demonstrating stuff with voiceover on my iPhone and with uh, iOS of course as the operating system uh, that's sort of like, like some introduction um, just a little side note this uh, little tips and tricks might be already uh, well in the mind of uh, some people they might know it already but uh, for for some others this is kinda hidden and I'm sure some of uh, us will learn something new from this and also these tips and tricks are not uh, specific to voiceover users uh, in most cases but things like let's say uh, I'm gonna include a typing method which is Braille screen input in this tutorial and that is most likely gonna be used by voiceover users and uh, they have a uh, like connection to each other. Like I use VoiceOver to read my screen and the BSI, Braille Screen Input, will be my method of typing and I'll be able to hear what VoiceOver uh, you know, says when I, when I type things. So I know if I, got, uh, I, I get what I want typed or if I typed it correctly or anything. So in this case, we'll be uh, involving you know voiceover but in other cases the voiceover is not necessarily needed for uh, this tutorial but since I use voiceover this tutorial will be performed in the voiceover way that means the way you do things with voiceover like double tap to activate item or you swipe to select an item or anything like that so if you use voiceover, you use iPhone, you might be very familiar with this. So let's get started by um, unlocking our phone and get started with the very first tips and tricks in this demo. So I'm going to unlock my phone and speech on. I have voiceover speech turned on. Now I want to show you how to hide a home screen pages by the way um, one or two maybe possibly two of these features are exclusive to the latest version of iOS just been released by Apple iOS 14 but the other one will be available uh, to generally uh, all screen. modern iPhone iPad and iPod touch models uh, Again, latest OS, latest device is not necessary. But if you have one of those modern devices that support latest OS updates, you should be good to go. Um, and you can take advantage of this. By the way, let's get back to hiding home screen pages. So I'm going to get to my home screen. So here's my home screen. Uh, I'm in one of the pages. So we want to hide this page for example now I can select one random app voice plus let's say 
choose this voice changer app. This is a funny accessible voice changer app for iPhone and iPad as well as iPod Touch. So to start this process, we want to bring our rotor to the actions element, which it should be already at by default. Activities, actions. So it's at actions. Now we want to open the edit mode by flicking either up or down. Edit mode. So let's double tap. Start editing. So all your apps will be in what Apple now officially acknowledge as jiggle mode. So and more. Is editing. Scout Legends. Is editing. All your Actions apps. Available. All your apps will be in edit mode. So what we want to do is to focus on the page slider towards the bottom center uh, half of the screen, sort of bottom bottom center part of the screen, just above the dock. Dock mail is editing. Page three of six adjustable. So you have this page slider here. What we want to do is to double tap. Page three of five adjustable. Oh my God! What happened? Astro go. Oh, let's bring edit mode again. Edit mode. Start editing. Okay, sorry for that. So uh, go to the page slider. Page three of six, adjustable. So let's double tap. Home screen page hiding. Page three of six, adjustable. There we go. So home screen page hiding. So at this point, I would recommend explore by touch towards the center of the screen. Page four, visible. So you have all, all your pages uh, displayed on this window. And I have, uh, you know, five pages of home screens available for me that I have uh, made. Page three, um, So by navigating using Flick or maybe Explore by Touch, you can find every ind individual page or pages and flick up or down to jump to uh, that specific page using Rotor. Like, I mean, uh, flick up or down within Rotor setting. Jump to page three. Let's say I'm on page three. I want to jump to this page. I can use Rotor. Uh, click on jump to page three and it should bring me to page three. Uh, but in this case, I want to hide this page. So activate default back to activate and let's double tap on this page three hidden. Hidden. So let's scrub our way out of this, uh, you know, page editor and then get out of jiggle mode. Compass is editing. Actions available. So finished editing. Sorry for that. FaceTime. So now we are out of jiggle mode now let's bring that page back as you can tell I have one less home screen page available to me now compared to what uh, things were before Talk. mail mail no one page two or four adjustable so uh, five pages now only have four left so I want to bring that third page back In my eyes. again select one random app Mode. Edit mode. Start editing. Go to page slider. Page two five. Adjustable. Double tap. Home screen page hiding. Page two five. Ex adjustable. Explore to find the page picker again. Page four. Visible. Page three. Hidden. And Actions available. It's hidden now. So let's double tap. Page three. Visible. And boom. Visible again. So exit. Exit. Finished editing. FaceTime. So you have to exit from the page editor mode as well as the jiggle mode and now you have this page three of five Mr. Jara. back to what my home screen originally was before I do that editing so that's the first tip uh, and this feature is exclusive to iOS 14 devices so if you can update to iOS 14 you can take advantage of this um, a second tip and uh, sort of sort of hidden features as well is going to be involving uh, the settings app so say for, for example you go to anywhere from within the settings app and you dive into a very deeply hidden menu and you you want to get your way back to the main settings page uh, previously all you have to do uh, is quite simple uh, I mean for for some that know the, the gesture of scrubbing, but sometimes for some others it will be hard. And some others choose to prefer the cumbersome way of uh, double tapping the back button repeatedly to exit the one the sub menu one by one. But uh, we have, I, I guess, probably one of the best ways, uh, the easiest way that Apple could ever bring to the table in terms of navigating the settings app more easily 
So let's show you just that. Back to the home screen. First page. Home messages. And now I'm gonna go to settings app. Wallet. Health. Settings. And settings. So I want to go to accessibility. Do not disturb. Rough wallpaper. Button. Steep touch ID and emergency SOS. Button. Oh no. Sorry. Home screen. Button. Accessibility. Button. I get past it. <laughs> so accessibility. Accessibility features help you customize your iPhone to your individual needs. So let's open voiceover menu. Vision. Headache. Voiceover. Um. Button. Voiceover. Um. I want to open the speech menu. Speech. Button. Voice. Siri female. United States. Button. Let's double tap on that. That's my default voice. Voice. English. Australia. Heading. And let's go into the Siri female US voice uh, section. Rose 9. English. Us. Alex. Da down. Fred. Down. Samantha. Selected. Download. Selected. Selected. Siri female. Using 473 MB. Actions available. So we're deep now in the menu. So previously you scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub multiple times until you get to the main setting page, settings page or you double tap repeatedly again as I said on the back button uh, which is pretty cumbersome so now we have easier way of doing that Edit button. getting back to the main page or any sub page of the settings app that you want so in this case I want to go back to the main page so let's focus our voiceover cursor on the back button English back button and what we want to do is to double tap and hold English button so as you can tell we are being presented with this screen with all the options available for you to choose from English button so just now let's let's move from right to left since this menu is uh, presenting the sub menu from left to right in in the order of which section we you know enter you know from the first to the to the very last section that we we clicked on that brought us to this very screen so if we start our journey from <laughs> you know, say the beginning just now we enter the settings app settings button and then we open the accessibility menu accessibility button and then we open voiceover voiceover button and then the voiceover settings and then the speech button speech section and then the default voice english button section uh, or default language section which is English so now I want to go back to the main settings page of my home screen so let's do just that we choose the settings option dismiss context menu but settings button so instead of having to scrub so many times or double tap repeatedly on the back button you can just click on this and boom settings heading you're back on your settings main page so that's pretty neat little uh, trick right there. It's pretty cool. So now, Settings. the last trick, which is not exclusive to voiceover users uh, on iOS 14 only, uh, is going to be uh, involving the typing method that I described above, which is the Braille screen input mode. Uh, it's just a brief description of Braille screen input. Uh, if you use Braille, you will understand uh, how Braille work. You know, Settings. if you are somebody who knows how to read in Braille or you use Braille personally, you will know how Braille works. Uh, on touch screen, especially on iPhone, as far as what I know, uh, not so sure about other devices. Uh, the iPhone allows you to uh, perform Braille gesture, like Braille fingering combination on a touch screen so you can actually type screen. using sort of braille dot combination but the text written will be exactly the same as if you are typing using all the other methods like dictation or on-screen keyboard or external keyboard etc etc so what I want to show you here is using braille screen input and launching apps from the home screen obviously you have many ways of launching apps from the home screen like using Siri or using the spotlight search or you know now you have app libraries on iOS 14 or you can manually locate the app from the home screen or etc etc but now using Braille screen input you can do it uh, kind of like fun way as well another way that you can take advantage of so it doesn't matter where you are on your home screen uh, just go to BSI in your rotor if you have set it up 
and if you know how to use Braille and especially BSI, you can type in a few characters of the app name and then uh, open it that way. So let me show you how to do that. Let's get back to my home screen. So messages. I'm on my first page of my home screen. I will go to Braille screen input right now. Characters, words, speaking volume, audio dot sounds, Braille screen input. Orientation locked, landscape, screen away mode, six dot, contractions off. So let's use the settings app as the example. So I'm going to type in SET using Braille screen input. Dot six, S, eight, E, T, one app, settings. So it tells you how many apps are there with the, uh, you know, name or the characters you typed in. So to select, um, let's erase this. E at E, two app S, 94 apps. So uh, we will be experimenting with, uh, let's say, one character, for example. Dot six A, 10 apps, a blind legend. So 10 apps on my home screen that has the letter A in it. Um, in, in their names. So to, to choose between the options in the landscape orientation, you can flick up or down with one finger. A viewer security, authenticator, Astro Go, Astro One E, Apple Support, etc., etc. But now I want to open a settings app, so I want to go to the, um, I want to delete this character. 94 at dot four. So let's type in SET again. Comma, S, oh. comma, at 94 apps, one dot dot six. S A E T one app settings. So one app settings, easy. So what you want to do to launch the app is, of course, to do two finger swipe. For those of you who are already familiar with BSI, so you know, uh, you know the drill. You know, same gesture you use to input a new line in the text field, or even in some cases, in some instant messaging app, they let you send uh, a message. Uh, text message, especially using the two-finger flick right gesture. Screen. So, oh, my screen lock. Too bad. So let's redo this again. Portrait, map character, words, speak volume, audio dot sounds, braille screen input, orientation locked, landscape, so, screen away mode, six dot, contractions off. Again. Dot six, S E T one app. Settings. So easy peasy. Two-finger flick right. Boom. Opening setting portrait settings. You are in the settings app. Opening settings. That's how you do it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Settings. Act. Don't be on. And uh, don't be on. Mic detail. I hope you'll have uh, a great uh, podcast listening time and or YouTube video listening time. In this case, um, yeah, I like to record a lot of podcasts. That's why I say podcast. But in this case, this is a YouTube content. So uh, I hope you have a great time listening to this little tutorial, and I hope it will be beneficial to you in some way. Uh, until the next one, see you. Stop recording button. Take care.